Hello, gorgeous. My name is Dusty, and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. It is in the description of this video, as well as the link in the bio. If you would like to win a $100 giveaway drawn on April 30th, you can do that by commenting winner in the comment section and liking and subscribing. Now, $25 is for a, a Scorpio family member and $75 is for me. I am going to um, increase the donation as my channel grows, as I grow, because I would like this to be a blessing for somebody who could use the extra money. So if you are doing well for yourself, Scorpio, let's pass this on to somebody that could really use a $100 come up. With that being said, let's hop directly into this energy. Today is, uh, we are under the solar eclipse energy, y'all. Get out a pen and paper, write down everything you desire, no matter how big, how small, no matter what your age is, what do you wanna do when you grow up? Well, who do you wanna be? What do you wanna manifest? visualize it, get into it, get excited. It's a very powerful time for manifestation, Scorpio. A lot of you are going to feel a major shift in your energy, a major shift with um, how you're feeling, a big release perhaps. So don't be surprised if you're not feeling a really, really emotional or, um, you know, very peaceful, right? It depends on where you are here um, on your timeline. For some of you, you may be purging. For others, you may have already purged and now you're moving into a more peaceful time, a more peaceful uh, place in your heart. We are going to do um, how, how your energy looks, Scorpio, about the person on your mind, um, how they feel about you, what are the challenges between you all, what is the outcome and what is the advice. I am going to use the pendulum at the end of the reading, so you may want to start thinking about a a question, something that you have had on your mind. So, Scorpio, I sometimes regret that I told you how I feel about you. I should have hid my feelings from you. This is a direct message to your person from your higher self. A lot of you told this person how you feel, and they ran. You told them how they feel, how you feel, and this person. Um, you know, got scared. You possibly even told them, I think you're my twin flame, or I think you're my whatever. And some greedy people cannot stand that, right? It's hard for them to hear that. They want to feel like you're crazy. They want to feel all sorts of ways, even though they know they feel um, the same way. The runner will often get, you know, real worked up about hearing about feelings. For others, if you were married with this to this person, I feel you regret telling them that you want that you loved them and you wanted to save the marriage because of the way they treated you or because of the things you found out they were doing um for a lot of you i feel you found things out after the your relationship was over whatever is going on though you feel that it has to be in perfect timing you are trying to sit back and remember that all in perfect timing right you're trying to figure to, to say to yourself What's meant to be is meant to be, but there's still a lot of worry, doubt, misunderstandings, confusion. There could have been a misunderstanding between you and your person as of recently or the last time you all talked. You, you know, sometimes when we communicate over text message, it, it can sound way different than we meant it to. One of you could have said something that didn't, you know, the other interpreted um, uh, differently, right? I feel for a lot of you, there could be some misunderstandings going on right now. There's something on repeat, though. You feel um, this person is not learning their lessons, and you have been on and off with this person. For some of you, this has been an on and off relationship. This is a cycle you have been repeating for years, three to four years for some of you, even longer, on and off, on and off. I feel here um, that you feel this person is all you ever wanted. You feel that. Um, when they are acting in their, their, you know, at their best self, or when you first met this person, you felt like they were all you ever wanted. And again, we have soulmate here. You could have told this person, I feel you're a soulmate. I feel we have 
a very strong bond. For a lot of you, this was a love of a lifetime, a very, very strong love you share with this person. Holy Spirit, please tell me about Scorpio's energy right now currently. Tell me about Scorpio and Scorpio's energy and how they're feeling about the person on their mind. You feel they're foolish, reckless, and sloppy. Yeah, lots of lessons to, to learn here. You, you, you've been doing a lot of healing, Scorpio, a lot of shadow work. This has been blocked for your highest good, sweetheart. Whether you realize it or not, there was some reason why this was not working and, and it was not meant to be right now. It has to do with timing. I feel for a lot of you, you could be, um, or you were or now, re, re, really neglecting your responsibilities because you're so sad. Oh, sweetheart, don't let your life get too out of control. It's very hard to come back out, Scorpio, if you allow yourself to go too far down that hole. I feel for a lot of you, there's jealousy, there's hidden secrets, there's hidden um, things about this person's sex life or sexuality. It's opposite of what you expected. Something will be revealed to you, um, perhaps in the middle of May, okay? I feel for a lot of you, this person made you this jealous person that you didn't even know. You turned into this jealous, like, let me see your phone. Where are you going? What are you doing? Let me track you kind of person. Or this is how they were with you. One of you was very jealous and it's coming from, from wounds. It's coming from this person being so reckless and sloppy. They could have neglected their responsibilities. This person, you all could have a family and they took a karmic lover and now they are neglecting their responsibilities with you. But again, concealed sexual items, you could have found condoms, you could have found birth control, or you could have found something um, on their phone, sexual, something here that you found. This person seems to deny everything, gaslight, every time you, you um, confront them. For a lot of you, Scorpio, this person may not even even wanted to claim that you all were together in public, or they're telling you that they don't have a karmic lover, that it's a lie, that it's not true, that you're crazy, that you didn't see what you really seen, or you didn't hear what you really heard. They're trying to lie. They're not, they're not um, owning up to it. I feel you are fed up with being Mr. or Mrs. Nice Guy. You are just fed all the way up. You are not dealing with the fuckery anymore. This person you feel wakes up and is miserable. You feel this person can be miserable in their the way they act and the way they treat you. For a lot of you, this person deals with depression, anxiety. They're, they're always confused. They're never making the proper decisions. And you really are getting to a place where you are about done. Even though you love this person, you can't really bear it anymore. You could have had the Ten of Pentacles with them. You could have been married to them. Or this person is married and building with somebody else, a karmic lover. And you all had an affair. Just put it where it belongs in the story. You could be dealing with a earth sign. Lots of fighting, lots of arguing, and lots of illusion. For a lot of you, this person embarrassed you, Scorpio. You feel like they embarrassed you um, in your community by running around, acting like a player, rushing in and out of your life, rushing in and out of others' lives. This could be a fire sign, a Pisces, a Cancer. I feel here so much illusion, so much illusion was painted that you, you don't even know what's real or what's not anymore. I feel that... Um, it was so, the, the path was unclear. It was always unclear. Are you with this person? Are you not? Are you working on things? Are you not? Are they with somebody else? Are they not? What What is going on? The on and off, the back and forth, the confusion was so much. It was constant conflict, conflict in your mind, conflict with this person, conflict with people around you who are telling you to not go back to this person. But the thing is, is what I feel from this energy is, you stood up for this person so many times and then they embarrassed you. Um, for a lot of you, that is how you feel. But understand that you should not feel embarrassed. They should feel embarrassed for treating somebody that loved them so deeply like this, Scorpio. Not you. You should not be the one that feels embarrassed. For some of you here, this person <clears throat> publicly did something or is going public with a karmic lover or something happened publicly where there was 
a fight, an argument or something between you all. How is your person feeling on your mind? You inspire me to do better and we will reunite soon. This person's higher self is saying direct message to someone. I feel here you, this person wants to do better. They do. They don't want to be miserable. They don't want to be anxious. They don't want to be all these things. But the problem is, is for some of you, this person, again, you, uh, I feel you have lessons here. They have lessons here. Y'all know that there are lessons that you should be learning. There are insights about one another. They are, there are soul lessons lessons about um, how to handle relationships, how to work together, how to be honest. There's so many lessons to be learned. This person could be expanding their awareness and actually learning some lessons here or wanting to learn more about soulmate twin flame connection or wanting to learn more about you, Swerve. If you just were in the dating stage and this person would never really admit that you all were together, they would be at your house every day, but you all just didn't label it, you know, um, they are learning more about you. They really have, um, they want to expand their awareness. For some of you, this was a long distance connection. For others, this person could have meant somebody why they were traveling for work. They could have been having an affair. They could have been telling you that they were traveling for work, but they were traveling to see somebody else. They could have meant somebody on mine. But the biggest thing I feel for a lot of you is there is distance now in between you all. There's distance emotionally, dis distance in general between you. And this person is starting to realize that, that you are fed up. You are almost, you know, done. The thing is here is this person feels like you all um, are a mismatch on something. You clearly had a big argument, a clash the last time you were together, but they do feel like head over heels in love with you on cloud nine. They feel like you make them feel like they are on cloud nine when things are good. This person um, is in a very masculine energy, but this card does says your counterpart, right? So this person is in a very um, masculine energy. I feel all the time though, I feel they're always in a masculine energy. They never know how to sit back and allow somebody to love them. They never know how to sit back and receive. They're always running around um, out here doing the most. And this is one of the biggest issues. This person could be a Taurus. Yeah, they're unsure. They're moving back and forth. They're unsure, they're undecided. They can't let go of the past. There's something here that they clearly need to let go of or another person. They, they, slowly over a period of time though, they are trying to learn their lessons. Slowly over a period of time, they are learning that you want stability. And this could be coming up in Taurus season. I feel there's going to be a immense shift here with the eclipse energy with the twin flame collective, the dynamic between the two, the runner chaser dynamic could switch roles very soon. This person's coming in faster than you think, right? I, again, with travel though, for some of you, you are in a long distance, in a long distance, or this person got theirself hemmed up with somebody online that lives at a distance from them. I do feel that this person wants to come in and it's going to be faster than you think, right? Um, it could be in Taurus season. It could be coming up here in Taurus season. I have a card that won't pick up. What is it? Yeah, they're talking about you, right? This is the, the thing. If you were having an affair with this person and got caught a third party spreading gossip about you, you could, a third party, if, if, if someone had an affair with your boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, um, they could be still spreading gossip about you because they do not want this person to reconnect with you. It's just the energy that I got off this card um, more than it is your person talking about you. Now, for some of you, your person is asking people what they should do, how they should approach you. Should they just leave it alone? How they should be moving? Uh, they could be living above their means. But as I said, secretly jealous of you, for some of you, there is a third party that's got your name in their mouth that is jealous of you. I feel here, um, your person could be a bit jealous of you, Scorpio. If you do better than them, if you have a lot of support, if there's something you have and they don't, they could definitely actually be jealous of you, as sad as that sounds, but they really could be. 
This person seems to be living above their means. They could have a shopping addiction, running around out here with casual counterparts and reckless ass behavior. Currently, the person on your mind is reckless. That's what they're, they're reckless. They're lost in time. There's anger, there's resentment, and there is rage in their energy. Their heart is hardened. They seem to be an emotional and nervous wreck. Hi, baby Luna. I feel that um, for some of you, you have told this person that you are done. You have told this person that you are not going to um, fight and argue anymore. You're not going to repeat cycles with them anymore. And this is why they are such a nervous wreck. They know that they have to make major changes, that they need to learn some major lessons. Say hi. She's such a sweet baby. She's getting a little better with her biting. We've been practicing. I feel here that um, this person has, yeah, see their heart is hardened but now they're having a change of heart. That's what I was just going to say. Something has shifted here because they're a train wreck. They are literally a train wreck. They're running around out, out here in the community, just embarrassing themselves, dealing with karmic lovers, spending too much money, trying to act like they're in big D energy here. And, and all along, Scorpio, you were their wish fulfillment. For some of you, this person is being very selfish though. They have made a lot of, Luna, settle, settle, Luna. I'm going to put her down, guys. Sorry. I feel this person is making decisions based on their highest good and not you or not your family or not your connection, right? They are just out here doing whatever they want, whatever makes them feel good in the moment, but not healthy, you know, feel good. Like this person's not meditating. Let's just say that. They do look at you still like you're loving, like you're emotional, like you're intuitive, like you are really um, everything they could ever ask for here. Standing in your power in the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, standing strong. But this person is fighting you off, blocking you out here. They could have even blocked you at one time. I feel for a lot of you, if this person blocked you, you're going to find that they've unblocked you. Something is shifting, right? If they're not speaking to you, you're going to find they're going to start speaking to you. I do feel communication could be coming in for some of you, and it's going to happen very fast. I do feel that um, this person has got to get out of their mind, has got to get out of this mindset before they come in because they are in the Eight of Swords and the Hangman which is a really, really unsure place. This is, um, I'm in a mental prison trying to get enlightened, but I'm just stuck here and I'm not moving, I'm not doing anything. I'm just suspended. We're not moving forward. We're not, we're not working on anything, but I haven't gave Scorpio closure either. I'm going round and round and round in my mind. And that is where this person seems to stay. I feel this is where they were most of your relationship, not knowing exactly what they should do. Yeah. Re look, look at this. He said, regret. I held back before. I don't want to do that this time. Keep doing what you're doing because I like it fulfilled. You do everything. You are this person's wish fulfillment. You didn't do anything wrong. This wasn't your fault, Scorpio. It, it was not. It was this person being in this energy. What do I want? What can I give up? What can I sacrifice? Instead of thinking about what they were getting, the beautiful gift that they were getting, they were thinking about what they had to sacrifice instead. What is the challenges between you all? Well, your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small. This person has been playing it small. Scorpio, you could perhaps be playing it small, honey. Maybe this person is out of your league. Um, and, and I mean, you're out of their league. You're a little higher up than they are in life or, or there's, there's, this person has done so much to you that the divine is saying, Scorpio, stop allowing people to treat you this way. It's time to get out of this circle, this cycle. It's time to get off the wheel here and move forward into a better, healthier connection. One of the biggest blockages is on and off relationship, situationship, roller coaster relationship, messy situation. 
the biggest blockage of it all is you all have been back and forth on and off so many times that now there's all this anger and resentment in your energy from the past and it is blocking you all in the present moment a lot of the times we will break up make up but we're still hanging on to the things that happened in the past we're still not forgiving we're still not actually forgiving so then you get into an argument and something that happened um last year comes up and it's just very unhealthy for a connection if you want this person and you really want to work on things and make things work and be in a healthy relationship you have got to be able to let go and if you can't, then that just means you can't be with them. You need to move on if you are unable to forgive for it. The other thing is there needs to be a mental breakthrough, new ideas, a new beginning. Somebody here needs to have some mental clarity. And I feel it could be the both of you. You're both, I feel you're getting to a point here, Scorpio, where you're saying, mm, I just, I don't even know anymore. Forgiveness. Thank you, Spirit, for confirming what I've said forgiveness is the blockage. You're both hanging on to things. You're both living in this deep regret and guilt. And, and, and I feel you deserve an apology, Scorpio, an actual apology. And you need to learn how to actually forgive because it's okay if you can't. As a matter of fact, it's, it's okay. You don't have to forget. You don't have to forgive. You can move forward, but you can't do both hold on to all this anger and resentment and try to work on the relationship at the same time. It, it's a train wreck. It, it causes, you know, a lot of issues. They could be hanging on to things, anger, resentment from the past as well. I feel here um, maturity is a problem. This person possibly um, is very immature or you, you both are very young. Um, money could be a problem. Prosperity and wealth could be an issue, right? You could make more than this person. They could make considerably less than you or vice versa. And there's, there's um, a power struggle going on. I feel this person can act like a Casanova, right? They are very hard to tame. And that's one of the biggest challenges is they're always out here putting it down on other people, shooting their shot just to see if they can um, conquer or, or, you know, feel like they are, they're the man or the woman. For a lot of you, this person has a very active sex life. Something could have happened in April already, or something will, could happen by the end of April as well. What is the challenges between these two beautiful people, spirit? I feel that this person um, has a very active sex life. And yeah, just a few weeks here or something. I feel for a lot of you, it could even be by the end of the month. But what waste of your time? Don't ignore the red flags. Spirit is saying that this, first of all, this person's out here doing things that are a waste of their time. They are running around doing who knows what, doing the very most, not serious about anything, picking the wrong things, making unwise decisions. For some of you, the divine is saying, do not ignore the red flag, Scorpio, because this is a waste of your time. You're going to repeat the same cycles over and over again. I feel that this person could network a lot, could socialize a lot, right? And, uh, and I feel that um, you need to know that oh, eventually everything connects. Eventually, if this is meant to be, it will be. And you know that your higher self has been telling you, let go. And if this person is going to come back, Scorpio, they will come back. It will happen in perfect timing. It will happen exactly when it should. And I feel that that's what you're trying to learn. That is the lesson here. And it will be a beautiful one if you start to actually be able to trust that. It's going to bring so much peace to your heart. You may want to practice telling yourself that every day, all in divine timing. What is meant for me will never pass me by. What is meant for me will never pass me by. I don't chase. I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me, right? I feel here um, burdens, stress, big problem. There needs to be truth. There needs to be clarity. Again, with mental breakthrough, now we have the Ace of Swords. There needs to be a truth scope. There, you all need to have a truthful conversation. One of the biggest challenges is, is this person is, is refusing to go through 
a transformation. They are exactly the same person they were 20 years ago, emotionally. Like they're not, they're not changing. They're not transforming here. For some of you, the other challenge is a baby mom or a baby dad, children that's in the way that they constantly swing on and off with between y'all. This person juggles. They're either going back and forth between you and a um, king or queen of pentacles or you and a um, empress or empress, I mean emperor, because um, they have children with them. And But yeah, and still, this person um, is so burdened by living this lifestyle. For some of you, they're going on and off between you and another person, on and off, on and off, back and forth, back and forth even in their mind. It's not even just here in the 3D. Um, this could be another Scorpio, a Taurus, a Libra. Um, so what is the projected outcome? Twist and turns, carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. For a lot of you, there is going to be a huge twist, a huge turn coming up soon. The projected outcome is this person coming in and apologizing. Um, conflict resolution, right? Them telling you that they didn't intend to harm you. But the problem is, Scorpio, is they still feel trapped. They still feel tied up. For some of you, you all feel tied and bound and stuck to one another. Um, you, you feel like you can't break away from them. Like you have a soul connection with them. So you have to stay. They are false. That's false. That is false. You should be learning lessons and taking back your power and moving forward. You are never restricted. You are never stuck. No matter what, no matter how hard, how sloppy the situation is, you are not. And I feel for some of you, you're starting to understand that the projected outcome so is this person coming in and apologizing, but them just um, being really passive? Yeah, a joint venture, falling in love, spending time together. I feel here that things will go well. For a lot of you, things are going to go well, but you need to take care of you first, love. Put yourself first, Scorpio. Um, they think you're beautiful, but let your beauty shine through. If you really want to work, on things with this person, you've got to let go of the past. You've got to let go and, and just stay in the present moment, or it's just going to repeat cycles. And the same for this person, they have to let go from uh, of karmic things and people from their past. I feel both of you need to work on that. If you would get that down, I feel for a lot of you, you all could live happily ever after. You really could. It is a beautiful love a soulmate connection, but again here, divine timing. So we started with divine timing and we're ending with divine timing for our reasons for wait, patience, trust, surrender. It must unfold in its own time. The conditions need to be right, but the projected outcome is this is going to be unexpected and surprising as hell to some of you. But there is going to be a shocking, unavoidable change because the divine now has took the wheel. This is the Holy Spirit. This is the universe, whatever your beliefs is, taking the wheel. And Scorpio, it will happen exactly when it's supposed to, right on time. And I think that a lot of you are needing to work on trusting that to give yourself some peace, give yourself some comfort. Taking a leap of faith into the unknown and a choice will be made. The projected outcome is a choice that's going to be made. Um, one of you or both of you are going to make a decision to either get together or walk away. For a lot of you, you're going to make a decision to choose one another. But there is pain and there is betrayal. There is lies. This person could be strategically trying to come into you and happen to hurt a third party or they are worried that they are going to hurt you. I do not like seeing the three of swords here in the projected outcome. I really don't. For some of you, the projected outcome is this, is that if you get into the cycle again, you are unfortunately going to get hurt, Scorpio. So maybe it's best that you move forward now. There's healing that needs to take place, and that is what is taking place. Um, you, you both are healing. You're both trying to rest, recover.
It seems to me that this person, when they come, they're making a head over heart decision. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of arguing. There's a lot of strife in their energy, right? But the wheel is here, y'all. And I feel that um, there will be a change of, of circumstances, a change of luck. This could be um, an air sign, a lot of air, a fixed signs could be an Aquarius. I feel that um, there's going to be a change in luck, a change in direction here. And um, both of you may actually be able to let go of the past, but you're not able to let go of each other, right? But because you can't let go of one another, you're going to work on actually letting go of the past and trusting. It looks like there's going to be a head over heart decision and this person is going to strategically come into you. They maybe happen to sneak away from a third party and I feel like somebody else is going to get hurt. Somebody else is going to feel some pain. But um, in a love triangle, usually there is one person that starts to feel pain. As a matter of fact, everybody can start to feel pain and I feel like that's where we are right now today. It looks to me like this person is going to strategically come into you. Tell me, Spirit, what's going to happen? What do they want? Yeah, they're going to contact you. They're going to communicate with you. And it's going to bring a tower moment. It's going to be a tower, a big tower. I feel um, there's something going on here in this person's life. Um, a big tower moment happening, possibly um, legalities, possibly a, a divorce a big fight that somebody gets arrested. There's something going on in their camp here that's going to be big. This person could come in um, in the next 19 to 27 days or on the 19th or 27th of May. Gemini season, very important for you. You are going to receive news about whatever is going on in this person's life or, or, or an email or a text message or something from them, it seems. But this person needs to... Um, strategically do this because it seems that there's other people involved that could get hurt. Now, what is the advice? You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in life. Through the turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. The past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available. Follow it with faith. Yes. Yes, yes, Scorpio, a blessing is about to be revealed to you. Um, you understanding why all has to work out in perfect timing. You, you understanding why everything transpired in the manner that it did. It's just going to happen right on time for you. You're either going to have clarity and understand that maybe it's time to move forward, or this person is going to come back and you all are going to give it a actual good go and let go of the past. And it's all going to be in the exact time it's supposed to be. That is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So stop the video if you'd like, but take a deep breath. Really focus your energy on the question. Now, to the, to the left is yes, to the right is no. So this way, swings this way, it's a yes. This way, it's a no. Begin. We have a yes, baby. We have a yes. So whatever question you have asked, Scorpio, it is a yes. I love my pendulum. I've been using it more and more. I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day. Tell yourself, every day, in every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. No matter what happens here, I am a winner. All I do is win. Love you, love.